Hello there, the Ricardo Riguro here. Today we are working on this Seagate solid state uh, drive. Uh, if you look at the customer solid state, he, they plugged it in and they burned out the SATA connector here. Uh, so it looks like it's damaged. So we need to replace it. So this is what it looks like uh, for the donor. It's the exact same like the customer. So we bought a new one. We removed the solid state. And what we did is, under the microscope here, we used the soldering tool to basically remove the SATA interface. Uh, so that's the donors. Next, we are going to put the patient here in the uh, locking system here so we can work with it. And then we are going to remove the patient's burn interface and replace it with the donors. Let's see how it's going to go. All right, put some flux. Very good. And uh, next, we melted some low melt wire onto the interface here with the soldering iron. Okay, and next, we are going to remove the interface. Okay, with a lot of patience, love and care, we remove the, the patient's interface. We are going to go over the pads over there, clean them up, and put the donor's interface in there. All right, let's do that next. Okay, clean the pads up. So the donor isn't exactly compatible. It doesn't have the exact same design, so it doesn't align properly. So we have to trim those corners here. Uh, let's do that next. All right, we clip the corners here. Hopefully, it will feel a little better. If we need to, we are going to file away those shavings here. So let's see. So still not fitting. Another problem we have is those pieces of plastic here underneath that uh, cause an issue with aligning properly vertically. So couldn't do with the pliers. So we use the Dremel to to file out whatever was in the way. All right, now it's lining up perfectly. Let's solder. 